Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode of my vlog. I'm here at the Henley Regatta. Let me show you a little bit more about this very British event. If you are watching this video, I am guessing that you've been invited to an event at the Henley Regatta. You don't quite know what it's all about and you want to watch a little YouTube video as an idiot's guide to the Henley Regatta and you've come to the right place. In the next 3 minutes, I'll tell you a little bit about the Henley Regatta and give you a few useful tips about attending the event. The Royal Henley Regatta was first established in 1839 here in the town of Henley on Thames. It is about 37 kilometers to the southeast of Oxford and 60 kilometers to the west of central London. It is normally a quiet, quaint, and picturesque little English town, but for one week a year in the summer, thousands of visitors descend upon Henley on Thames for the Henley Royal Regatta. Competitors from far and wide come and compete in the rowing competition here, from America to Germany. Oh yes, they're all here. If you are invited here as a guest, I'm guessing you are not that interested in the rowing. However, do always make sure you check the invitation for the dress code, for it can be rather strict and you could be turned away. You will see many men wearing quite loud, outlandish, colourful striped jackets like this one here at Henley. It is a tradition. These are known as boating blazers and wearing one means that you're a member of a prestigious rowing club. Now this is the kind of activity typically done by rich or at least middle class British people. So turning up at Henley in your boating blazer is indeed a mark of your social class. Many companies however today choose to host events at the Henley Royal Regatta because they wish to show that they belong to the upper echelons of British society. There are marquees and enclosures set up along the full course of the race. I'm at the Temple Island enclosure, and that's the Temple Island, a small island in the middle of the river which marks the start of the regatta course. So this is typically what a race will look like. You will see two teams competing head to head, whizzing by you on the river, and you have no idea who they are or which team will win. And that's the umpire boat following shortly behind the two teams. If I may be frank, it's a little bit hard to actually follow what the hell is going on. But do make sure you get hold of a copy of the official program if you really want to know. As an invited guest at one of these enclosures, you will be very well fed. There'll be an incredible lunch followed by afternoon tea and an open bar. Apart from checking the dress code, make sure you also check the weather forecast and wear sensible shoes. You may have to walk up to 35, even 40 minutes from Henley on Thames Station to some of the enclosures further away. The trains from London are going to be crazy crowded, so do leave plenty of time for your journey. Well, I hope you found this useful and I wish you a lovely day out at Henley. Thank <laughs> you.